So I was at a point in my life when I was finally getting a hold of my work slash life balance. Good habits were made. I was pumping out videos like once a month, which for Storytime Animator on YouTube, that's pretty good. All was in perfect harmony. But all that changed when Genshin attacked. That's right, you know we're talking about, baby. Breath of the Waifu's Genshin Impact. Believe it or not, I was very hesitant to play this game. And honestly, I thought the name was kinda dumb. Interesting. But it was all my friends could talk about. Well, I didn't med school. And even Billy, Billy but better, whom I quote, said that this game does not look like something I would have fun playing, would later bring me into a server he created specifically for Genshin Impact. Oh my gosh, they got him too. And it was at that moment I knew my days were numbered. Did you download Genshin yet? Nope. Did you download Genshin yet? Ugh. Emperor Palpatine. Have you downloaded Genshin yet? What the? No. Do it. Hey, buddy. You finished a video. Congrats, man. Thanks. I actually feel pretty good about that. Hey, now that you have all this free time, you know what you should do now? Gee, I don't know. Play Genshin. Play Genshin Impact. Oh my gosh, that game is amazing. And then one day, it came for me. Man, when are my friends ever going to stop bugging me about this game? Like even Billy. Jeez. I don't know. Maybe it won't hurt to just see what this game is about. Better this or hear more med school jokes. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see here. Here we are. Genshin Impact. <laughs> what a weird name. Oh, no. How do I describe it? It's like that feeling you get when you play something for the first time, where everything is new and exciting, multiplied by the sensation of a giant geo meteor from Zhongli striking me in the face. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty! It's so pretty! It's a fruit. Oh, it's a sweet flower. Oh, amazing. Ugh, I'm probably going to need this later, though. Gosh, dang it. The food, the buildings, the inhabitants, the combat, hashtag PS4 controller on PC for the windscrew keyboards, and the music. Mmm. It's like Wagyu A5 beef for my ear. And I've been converted ever since. I am now that friend that makes others play. And that includes you. Because very special announcement, this video has been brought to you by, drumroll please, Genshin Impact. What? Who knew? <laughs> okay, I find it extremely unlikely that you don't know what this game is, because I mean, that you're watching this video, and also this game has been out for a very long time, and also it's amazing. But just in case, Genshin Impact is a free-to-play open-world action RPG where you can explore the vast, beautiful landscapes of Avon and embrace your inner traveling spirit. You can fly, cook, climb, fish, run, swim. Heck, with certain characters, you can even run on water. Ha! Suck it, you filthy casuals! And when all is said and done, you can kick back and destroy your enemies. Genshin Impact is updated on a regular basis, so there is always something new to be excited about. Here are just a few examples of what's in store for patch 2.7. Explore even deeper and uncover more mysteries behind the newly released region, the chasm in the perilous trail. Ooh. There will also be other mini events where you can earn a butt ton of other rewards, including an event exclusive bow, The Fading Twilight. Ooh. Yeah, I should probably stop doing that. But do you prefer more laid back activities? Well, no problem, because there is going to be a rhythm game event where you can jam and create your very own Genshin beats on the drums during the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. And if you're feeling that confident in your song, there's going to be an ongoing music contest where you can enter your track to win a prizes. Hey guys, listen to this. I think it's the winner. One thing I love about this game is the characters, and with this update, you will get a chance to unlock a bunch of awesome ones, like Yelan, an intelligence officer and hydro bow user that honestly, if she captured me, I wouldn't mind. Xiao, the conqueror of demons. Arataki Ito, the one and only. <laughs> See what I did there? And Kuki Shinobu, who is a freaking ninja. I don't think I need to say anything more than that. She just speaks to me. So if you don't want to miss out on all of this amazing stuff, be sure to download Genshin Impact on your device right now. Okay, I mean, 
after this video, obviously. I have been playing this game for a very long time and I have been enjoying it and I think you will enjoy this too. And you're not really risking that much because it is completely free. Link will be in the description below and huge thank you to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I'm not much of a social gamer, but Genshin definitely helped fix that. Like, remember that Discord server Billy invited me to? Well, we would have these VC sessions where we just jump into each other's worlds, help each other with certain bosses or challenges. Well, thank goodness they were all higher level than me so that they could carry, because I wasn't going to be that much help. <laughs> I'm now at the same level as them, so it's pretty great. Good times. Oh yeah, and the wish parties. Yeah, those were like really fun. We'd be taking turns spending all of our primo gems trying to get the new five-star character. It was like a test to see who had the most luck and to see who lacked financial restraint. But for those who don't know, I should probably briefly explain how the wish system works. And I know I'm gonna sound like a huge nerd, but shut up. Basically, you can wish for characters or items using Primo Gems. Your odds of getting a five star are like super, super low, but significantly increases after 75 wishes. Guaranteed five star character at 90 wishes. Now on a special banner, if you don't get the featured five star that is on that banner, let's say you get Chi Chi, which is like one of the worst five stars in the game and you're like really sad. Then the next five star you pull is guaranteed to not be Chi Chi and will be the featured five star character on that banner. And that's basically it. See, was that so bad? Anyways, there's always that one person in the group that just naturally gets blessed by the gotcha gods to get the good stuff. You know, like pulling multiple five stars in one ten pull, which the odds of that happening, as I have beautifully explained already, is almost impossible. But somehow, these two in our group always had the best luck. <coughs> and Junia. And it was always just like, oh boy, let's see how many you get this time. I'm totally not salty about any of this at all by the way. But to be fair though, they do give generous offerings on a regular basis, so I guess it makes sense. The celebration, the disappointment from summoning Chi Chi, the pain and agony from Billy but better because he really wants this character called Mona and we all have her but he doesn't. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! Ah, those are truly the wholesome moments that I cherish. And the most important thing is, is that we all got to witness it together as friends. Speaking of spending money, I bet you're wondering how much I spent on this game. I mean, it does have a gotcha system. Tons of really fancy weapons and characters to collect. And I do love collecting stuff. So finally, after grueling hours of payment history browsing, I have confidently calculated that after one year of playing Genshin Impact, I have spent... not a lot. I am not free to play. I don't have the mental strength to do that. But I'm also not considered a whale or what people would call those that spend hundreds, even thousands, or their League of Legends world's earnings worth on in-game purchases. I pretty much only get the Vulcan Moon and sometimes the Battle Pass. I'm an anchovy. Now, because of my fancy financial footwork, I do often find myself constantly struggling to decide which characters to save my precious primo gems for. Oftentimes, it's like back-to-back -back really cool looking characters, and I really want them. For example, one time I was stuck with a dilemma. See, my next five star is guaranteed to be the featured five star character. So the question was, should I wish for Zhang Li or Yula? Now, Yula is a super awesome looking Claymore user, which is my favorite weapon type user in the game. But there's also Zhang Li, who is the ultimate husbando basically making every battle in the game easy because of his stupidly strong shield and arguably at the time according to this Asian guy on YouTube is the best character in the entire game. What I had was a classic waifu over meta situation and because I am an anchovy I only had enough to get one of them. I would agonize over this for weeks before the banners even arrived getting advice from people who don't even play the game. Can you help me out doc? Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. This session are for those with actual problems. Oh, and my friends wouldn't be all that helpful either. All they would tell me is thighs save lives. Like, what does that even mean? Incredibly unhelpful. But I was able to pull off a pretty boss moment if I do say so myself. I summoned Zhang Li with my guaranteed wish, and then I got a Mona super super early around like 20 wishes. <laughs> Billy, look who I got. Therefore, giving me guaranteed Eula, which I got with the rest of my primo gems. Easy money. 
that I didn't have to spend. Unfortunately though, it didn't work like that all the time. There are also several characters I really wanted but had to skip because I wanted to save for someone else. Example being, I was saving for the longest time for Ayaka whom everyone was hyping since the game came out. So I skipped a bunch of banners for her. But then this other character called Yoimiya was coming out later on and it turned out I also really wanted her. So after more weeks of even more agonizing debate with my thoughts and desires, I made the difficult decision to skip Ayaka's banner and save for Yoimiya instead. But then... You will be inlaid upon this statue. Okay, actually, never mind. That decision was pretty easy. So yeah, I'm proud of how many characters I got using my anchovy ways, and I'm confident that I won't have that dilemma ever again. Oh no. For the Lunar Festival, Genshin Impact had a fan art contest with the theme Sea of Lights. Very pretty if you can see it in game. Normally, I don't do contests or draw fan art for games minus Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! But this time, I made an exception. Because one, I really wanted to win some in-game currency. And two, it gives me an opportunity to draw my favorite character in the game, Beto. AKA, the ultimate waifu. Hashtag Beto supremacy, hashtag electro queen, hashtag Beto is bae. She was going to be taken on a night ride through the sea of lights with the vigilant Yaksha, my boy, Xiao. I know majority of fans ship Beidou and Ningguang, but I could have sworn that in the lore it said Xiao had a crush on Beidou. I know that or just admired, but whatever. Either way, I shipped these two. I worked on this piece for weeks, and it was really hard because I had to crash course my way through multiple fields of art that I wasn't that strong in. Human anatomy, because you know, background design and composition, because you know, clothes design, obviously, and coloring. Well, coloring wasn't too bad. What did you think I was gonna say? How dare you? But in the end, I was really proud of what I made. Here it is. Unfortunately though, I didn't win for reasons beyond my understanding. I mean, yeah, these winners are pretty good, but I mean, are you seriously gonna look at these and tell me that these are that much better than mine? Exactly. It's okay though, because at the end of the day, I stepped out of my comfort zone and made something pretty awesome. And that's what life is all about. And now I guess I can finish the video off with some miscellaneous stuff I didn't really fit anywhere else. Here are pictures of my best artifacts. Here's some of my favorite characters I like to use. Here's a picture of me and my favorite weapon, which is literally a giant fish. It's amazing. Here's a picture of me and Beto, which is also amazing. And after an entire year and thousands of wishes, Billy finally got Mona. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs>